Why do you think Sass has struggled? Um, just, I, I thought just too many mistakes on the plate with, with, with all his pitches. You know, they, they had, they had, they were making hard contact on him most of the night. Um, you know, with, with the fastball and the secondary stuff. Um, I thought he pounded the zone for the most part, but just, it, it seemed like in what, you know, having not watched it back yet, it just seemed like, um, you know, a lot of pitches in the center with, with both his fastball and his secondary. Overall, you guys have had some struggles with the Rays this season. Mm -hmm. Why do you think they've, they've played you so tough or you guys have had that trouble against them overall in their pitching staff? Yeah. <clears throat> um, well, I mean, that, that team got off to a, a really slow start, I believe, in the first month. And since then, they've been a tough team. And, you know, you know the way they have you know, use their their pitching staff creatively. They they've created a lot of matchups and and made it tough on us. And um, you know, tonight was a, a a case of them just getting out ahead of us and really swinging the bats well and digging us a hole. So, um, you know, they're they're a good team and and uh, you know we have a chance to tomorrow go out and have a good series against them. So that's that's how we look at it. And and uh, you know, but. They, they've certainly played well against us these last couple series. Wally. Aaron, uh, aside from Sess's first two big league starts back in 2016, his record as a star has been pretty undistinguished. Was um, the reason you used him tonight basically based on need? Did you have any other options? Well, with CC going down and, and having to skip him, um, Obviously, we had to plug somebody in. So, you know, we talk about a lot of guys. You know, a lot of times it comes down to, you know, where guys fall in their rotation when you're when you're dipping into the system a little bit. Um, so, you know, a lot of guys continue to be in that mix, continue to be in that conversation. There's there's roster situations that you deal with. So, there's a lot that goes into it. Um, you know, and, and Sess has shown um, flashes up here of having success, and he's certainly done that down there to earn earn these opportunities. Kevin, to the left. I'm not taking advantage of that bases loaded situation in the fourth inning. How much did that hurt you? Yeah, I mean, you know, I felt like there were a couple times there where we had some chances um, to, to really make a game of it, and, and who knows, you know, maybe that changes things a bit. We just couldn't get that hit tonight to push us over. Um, you know, we did, we, we created some traffic. Just, you know, it, it makes it tough when you're kind of behind the eight ball and, you know, not just down a run or two. And um, But, yeah, I mean, one big hit certainly uh, in that inning, you know, maybe things are a little bit different. Dave. Aaron Cashman said before the game that Judge had a cortisone shot on Monday to try to, mm -hmm. you know, ease the pain some. It, for you guys going forward, do you, are you guys just waiting to see how he shows up each day and how he feels before determining what he's going to do? Or do you see a spot where he's going to have a chance to, to pick up a bat? Or is that maybe too far off at this point? No, I think that's, I think that's close. Um, I know he did some swings underwater today and it went well. Um, uh, I, I would say there's been significant improvement over the last couple of days. Um, so I feel like we're getting close to that point where, you know, hopefully he has a bat in his hand. And again, I think at that point it probably progresses pretty quickly. But the thing they're waiting on is making sure they're, you know, the pain's out of there when they get to that end point of rotate. Right now his range of motion is very good. Um, when he gets to that end point, he's still feeling a little bit significantly less than a few days ago, certainly a week ago. Um, and I, I would say today was a big step forward for him in some of the things he was able to do. Um, so hopefully, uh, you know, bat in hand uh, is soon to follow, and then, and then we can progress pretty quickly from there, I would imagine. Meredith. The three-week time frame that you guys first announced seemed pretty ambitious. Do you... Is he not healing as fast as you originally thought? Is he further behind than you, you originally thought he would be? Well, I, the three-week time, it was a real timeline, though. It's not, I don't think it was necessarily us intentionally being ambitious. In fact, I, th I think we usually err on the side of, of caution. But, um, yeah, so it's just been, the bottom line is we got to wait for it to heal and get to a certain point. So, obviously, tomorrow, I think, is the three-week point. So we're getting there. 
So obviously, you know, it, it's it's not where we had hoped at this point. That said, it's moving in the right direction. There's nothing alarming that's going on that's keeping him down. It's just taking a little bit more uh, than 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 I think we had originally hoped. Anyone else? Uh, clap to the right. Aaron, are you are you satisfied or perhaps concerned either one of the team's confidence in itself over you know the last couple of weeks and going forward? Well, I, I have no issue with our confidence. Um, you know, I, th I think I think we are in the midst of a tough stretch for us. Just you know how we are a little banged up, obviously, and and a lot of games and and not a lot of days. Um, so so it's it's not easy for us right now. You know, but I feel like um, I feel like the guys have a really good perspective on things and um, are fighting their way through it. And and you know, with all that being said, we we've still been able to, you know, when we left the Red Sox series, we've still been racking up wins here at a pretty good clip. You know, when I feel like it's kind of difficult, it is a difficult part of the season for us. But I feel like the guys' frame of mind. I think to a man in that room, everyone understands um, how much we're capable of. And certainly, you know, as we become more and more whole, hopefully over the next couple of weeks, um, hopefully we put ourselves in a really position, good position here to to finish strong these final six, seven weeks of the regular season and, and give ourselves a chance, hopefully come October. Okay. Thank you, Aaron.